Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2013 Jeep Compass and I will show you how to remove and replace the rear wiper motor. This video will apply to Jeep Compasses made from 2011 all the way up to 2017. Now to completely remove the rear wiper motor first you will have to remove the rear wiper arm and once you do that then you'll have to remove the inner uh, leaf gate panel and unscrew the motor itself okay so to start first you want to pop off this small cover on top of the rear wiper arm so just want to pretty much pry it out and remove it and now you will get access to the screw that's actually holding the rear wiper arm. Okay, once that uh, cap is off, it's always a good idea to use a bit of uh, WD-40 on that screw. And then all you will need is a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Okay, so this is the nut and now there is actually nothing else holding this um, rear wiper arm and if you are lucky you'll be able just to kind of wiggle it off and completely remove it. In some cases this uh, wiper arm can get stuck especially if, if it was never removed and then there is a special tool you can use to pretty much pry it underneath and and pull it off but like i said if you just try to wiggle it left and right and slowly remove it you should be able to do it okay okay just like that Okay, and once you have removed the rear wiper arm, you can uh, lift the leaf gate and proceed to remove the inner leaf gate panel. Okay, so to access the rear wiper motor, the idea is to completely remove this uh, inner door panel. Now, to do that, first you'll want to pop out these uh, side panels, which are kind of holding it right here. And then you will have two screws to remove up here. Okay, so these panels are pretty much just held by a couple of plastic uh, fasteners. You can use like a flat screwdriver or something similar or just try to use your hands to pry them out. You see, those are the fasteners. You just have to pull nothing else. Okay, just like that, you see. And same thing with the other side, so just pull towards yourself. Okay. Next thing to do, like I mentioned before, is to remove these two uh, screws. They are both Torx T30, so you'll need... Uh, Torx uh, socket or a screwdriver and just pretty much remove those two. Okay, so these are the screws and now again there is nothing else holding this panel. You can see it's like loose here already and it's gonna be held only by these plastic fasteners. So what you want to do, just want to pop it all around and pull it down. I'll have to use both of my hands because I have to hold on to the leaf gate but the idea is you can just use your hands to pretty much pull it down all around. Okay so I will show you one more time here so bunch of these plastic fasteners all around so just want to keep pulling it down like this and that's pretty much it. Don't be afraid, you won't break it, just uh, pull it down. Okay, just like that.
and once the panel is down you have a full access to the rear wiper motor now first you want to unplug it you'll have like a, a small tab here to press you want to press it and just wiggle those wires out and next thing to do would be to remove three 10 millimeter screws one here one here and one here okay so i have all the screws out and now pretty much the motor will just slide out and here i can show you here are all the screws and this is how you can remove the rear wiper motor it's actually very very easy to do it on this vehicle and now you can install your new motor and uh, that's it so i will show you here i got the new motor actually from amazon because it was much much cheaper than any uh, part store in my area so i hope it's gonna work but the price difference was really really huge i mean if you want you can go with uh, oem part but that's gonna cost you quite a lot if you go with aftermarket part you can get it for under 100 bucks which is a pretty good deal and now you just want to follow everything in reverse like i showed you and install your new rear wiper motor and that's pretty much everything okay thank you for watching this short video i hope it was helpful and educational if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my youtube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos do-it-yourself videos car reviews product reviews and other similar automotive topics